Hello, everyone. I'm So Jung Lee. I'm the Associate Director of CDOR in the USP Group at Samsung Biologics. Thank you for joining me today as I speak to getting to your IND faster and how we Samsung Biologics CDO USP developed a platform USP process for accelerated high performing monoclonal antibody production. Again, my name is Ho Jung Lee. With the nature of this presentation being a web format, me not being there for direct Q&A, uh, actually it's 3 a.m. in the morning in Korea. I really encourage you to reach out to me or our business development team for any questions regarding any content of this presentation, including, including the service that we provide. I've been here for a year as a part leader of CDO USB pilot unit. And prior to that, I spent years for a PhD in animal cell engineering and worked for a biopharma com company cell line in cell line development and upstream process development. I'm gonna talk about several contents today, the CMC activities needed for successful IND in a very speedy pace, and how we could enable, enable the fast timeline throughout our, throughout our accelerated process and a decent scalability through micro and thousand liter scales and our high performance process. Let's start with the first topic. What do we need to know to be the best choice for your success in biopharma industry? Well, there are many expectations for the CDMO partner from customers' pers perspectives. Expertise and knowledge built from experience in either development or manufacturing, and even in business-wise. Flexibility is also in need, since there could be so many changes and issues coming from something either customers or CDMO can control. And cost may be one of the main concerns that the customers have. And all the innovative, reliable, better services are aiming the excellent quality of service, including their product manu manufacturing and the filing support. And above all, on-time delivery will be one of their top priorities that customers require for the CDMO they would choose. As the global biopharma market has been growing rapidly during recent 15 years, the number of biological IND approval has been increasing al alongside. The market size was 278 billion US dollars in 2020, and therapeutic antibodies was comprised of 150 billion US dollars, among others. With this rapid growth of biotherapeutics market, it is significant to develop safe biotherapeutics within faster timeline and deliver them to patients. The reason why speed matters in drug development, as you all know, is because successful launch can be directly linked to the order of entry in, into the market. As you can see in the chart on top right, the first and the second order drugs take the majority of the market share, which is over 70% of all. And data and references are saying that the delay during the new drug development journey can cause potential loss of at least 600K to as high as $8 million per day. So now we will delve into our accelerated development timeline and how we could get there, especially with the perspective of upstream process. We have two primary timeline concepts. One is a standard and the other is a fast timeline. Those are dependent on the molecule type mainly. The overall timeline for MAP simple bispecific antibodies is 12 months from CLD to DP manufacturing and CLD to IND filing 14 months. And the timeline for simple MAP molecules, uh, primarily IgG1 and IgG4, where we can apply our platform approach to the process development activity. It's seven months from CLD to DP manufacturing and nine months from CLD to IND filing. And I want to say that for this presentation only, because as you come to us for any of our technical services, it's highly flexible. And most of the time, it's modified based on your particular needs. And it's really just where you want to come in and out of your process development and your CMC activities. And this is how we enable those timelines from an upstream de development and manufacturing perspectives. The standard timeline includes media screening, process optimization using the DOE tool, process verification and tox clinical manufacturing. 
The fast timeline excludes DOE optimization and verification. Instead of it, Tox manufacturing in 200 liter scale is followed almost just two weeks after the two liter feasibility test. To be able to establish this seamless production platform and its platform parameters, in-house high-performing wholesale line called Chosen and S-Choice, integrated global knowledge in QBD perspectives, scientists accumulated know-how and experience, and robust and scalable process and control strategies. All of these factors made it possible to get the universal platform USP process for timely projects. No matter how this process is well designed, it would be of no use if it's not scalable or applicable to manufacturing. The scalability is a very important factor since the ultimate purpose of the customer who brought their molecules with the sequence will be a large scale manufacturing at least in a thousand scale for the clinical trial phase one. Even though the process for the tox material or the clinical campaign may not be the final process, the developed process in small scale, let's say two liter scale, should be representative and reproducible throughout the scale, scaling up. Now, we will take a look at how Samsung Biologic CDO USP provides scalable processes to you. As we initiate the process optimization stage, we start the upstream journey from Amber 15, which is a high throughput automated microbioreactor system for 48 parallel cultivation at 15 mil scale. At the process optimization stage, we implement design of experiment with quality by design in mind. The optimized process pr provided by DOE is verified in the two liter glass jar bioreactors. We have to admit that Amber 15 has become an almost irreplaceable tool for upstream process development. However, there are being said that matching culture profiles between Amber and two liter bioreactors is quite challenging since there are major differences in guessing strategy and volumetric limitations of Amber 15. I'm gonna go through how we minimize these differences between Amber 15 and two liter in the next slide. Scaling up from two liter to 200 liter or to 1K liter is designed based on the power per volume strategy. Our 200 liter tox production is utilized in the single use bioreactor system, both in N minus stages and in the main culture stages. For 1K liter CGMP manufacturing, customers can choose either stainless steel or single use system. In the next slide, I will introduce our scalable processes between scales and even single use and stainless steel bioreactors providing one seamless process from benchtop to clinical materials. There could be many factors that could generate differences in culture profiles, titer and quality. We also experienced these differences when we started our business first but we identified few factors such as a DOE design, process parameters, um, for example, pH temperature and the seed densities and metabolite controlling plants and sampling plants. By shaping up these, these aspects, two liter verification results have become very well matched to the predictive values of DOE prediction. These are representative case studies for process optimization and verification. As you might know about how to utilize the DOE program, such as JUMP or MINITEP, and how to set those analysis conditions, here I prepared three cases. One is a title weighted setting, second one is a viability weighted setting, and the third case is a combination of DOE and OFET. As you all can see in the figure on the down right, the average title of each project is located in the um, DOE output value range with the 95% confidence interval. Even when we set the DOE as a viability weighted um, condition on the top right figure, the average title of the verification run still matched to the predicted value. Though it's not in the presentation, the average viability of the verification run was in the predicted viability range as well. We primarily apply response surface method called RSM for, for a DOE design. And not only DOE, DOE, but also OFET, uh, one factor at a time, experiments are often conducted when a specific parameter is thought to add values to the optimization. Basically, we operate the whole process with the flexibility 
modifying the experimental plan to get to the best results. So with this oil matched two liter verification results, I'm gonna share the scale, scale up case studies across two to one K liters. The red line represents two liter, blue is 200 liter, and the black line is one K liter. During the production, the daily data are being tracked and compared with the historical data, which could be either two liter verification results with three SD ranges or 200 liter tox runs. Together with the growth profiles, pH, DO, PCO2, metabolites, and other in-process control or in-process monitoring parameters are monitored as well. The FAST timeline applies the preset platform process parameters for tox manufacturing, which are not undergone the optimization. Even so, you can see the growth and viability of tox run showed well-aligned profiles to the two liter verification runs. And of course, we occasionally observe different profiles of cell growth, viability, or some metabolites. In that case, we analyze the effect of those differences on the productivity and quality during the culture. As well as growth profiles, percent monomer and titer showed fairly comparable data throughout the scale. Percent monomer was analyzed by SEHPLC, and the titer was analyzed by HPLC with the same method throughout the scale. And I wanna say that um, slightly lower monomer content seen in fast timeline compared to the standard timeline increased after downstream process. And some of these case studies utilize the um, stainless steel bioreactor in the clinical run, while the single use, um, all 200 liter tox runs utilize the single use bioreactors. So we can say that we can provide scalable processes no matter what type of bioreactor was used. Now, last but not least, I'm gonna go through the high performing process development capability of Samsung Biologic CDO USP. Although we have developed tens of processes using our chosen cell lines and well vetted cell culture platform, multiple processes have successfully been developed scaled and transferred to GMP manufacturing using cell lines and processes developed by third parties or by our clients as well. Here we have a proven process development capability since these projects were brought from the client without the cell line development scope at our site. By applying adequate technology transfer, media and feed selection, DOE optimization, we could increase tighter and um, whilst increasing tighter, we could main, maintain the quality as well. Altogether, these are key benefits of Samsung Biologics USP platform. Fast and flexible development with the robust scale up strategy assures the great start of manufacturing process journey for on-time delivery of your product. Most of the time, quality, time and cost they're said to be conflicting to each other. But customers want the excellent quality of the service within faster timeline with competitive cost. We, Samsung Biologics, set those values as our core motto of both development and manufacturing for customer satisfaction. As I mentioned before, when I talked about the timeline, Samsung Biologics can provide seamless one-stop service with the maximum flexibility from gene to DP including IND filing support for global regulatory agencies. Samsung Biologics launched CDO business in 2018. Since then, a um, total of 63 projects were integrated by 2020. We've been dealing with multimodal portfolio of proteins consisting of MAP, bispecific, antibody drug conjugates, FC fusion, and others. We are providing end-to-end -end service from gene to commercial production, including aseptic fill finish in mind. Our team is highly experienced in the technology transfer of processes into our labs, as well as the transfer of processes to our GMP manufacturing teams across a wide range of molecule types. Well, Samsung Biologics US R&D Center was open in 2021 to the COVID situation to bring our experience and capabilities in the US. With that, most qualified world-leading CDMO, Samsung Biologics delivers your success to IND and BLA faster and better with maximum flexibility.
I really look forward to hearing from you, either through email, LinkedIn, in any way. Thank you for listening.